Hello everyone, welcome to my corner of the internet, where we are once again playing some Fatal Frame 3, The Tormented. Last time, we, um, we dealt with all of the, I guess, men in white, um, and then we made it to the door, and we were about to go through until some creepy ghost with a big meat cleaver type thing? I, I actually, my memory might be wrong on that, but it was a, it was a big bladed thing, uh, came up behind us, and we woke up. Uh, to actually a different cutscene. Normally the, the tattoo spreads down over our back, but this time it went over our, our chest, so... Hmm, interesting. I don't know if it was also going over our back, or if it's just decided it's gonna go in a different direction. I don't know. Anyways, when we left off, the phone was ringing, and guess what? It's still ringing. Um, so I guess we should probably go ahead and answer that. Uh, but first, before, as is tradition, as is custom, we need to check our closet. <laughs> Always check the closet. My clothes are crammed carelessly into the closet. You know, actually, when I take a look, I mean, the top part is all pretty neat and tidy, like the that top little um, box. The bottom parts, I guess you could say, are a little bit more just sort of crammed in. I guess when you just wear the same thing over and over again, you don't you don't need your stuff to be put away neat and tidy. <laughs> As we've seen, Ray has got exactly two outfits: the one she sleeps in and the one she is awake in. Um, um, then again, wait a second, and those two those two outfits are actually swapped from what you would think they are. Because <laughs> this is the one we, see, we tend to see a lot when she's awake, and the other one is what we see is when she's asleep. Anyways, I guess we'll go answer the uh, the phone. Part of me wants to go around the house. I, like, I, I always have this, this urge to avoid the critical path, you know, don't want to go straight forward, but uh, I feel like we kind of, we kind of should. It, it's a phone, it's ringing, it's not going to ring forever. Well, it shouldn't, but it will, but... Yes, Kurosawa speaking? Let me out! Let me out! Let me out! I should have died. Okay! Well, that, that's fun. Let me take a look, a look around the room. No cat. Okay, I was expecting maybe something, you know, drive the story forward a little bit. But no, they're, they're just like, hey, here's a creepy phone call. Um... Well, I guess we're already down on the main floor, so let's... Go walk around the main floor a bit. Um, just, you know, do a walk around of the house. From across the kitchen. Oh, yeah. I was, I was trying to look inside the, um, like the garbage pail bin thing. Ooh. Ah, uh, ah. Uh. Okay, I want to see if I can trigger that again. Because last time we had something... I guess we didn't see that. Nothing. Okay. I didn't notice anything. This is kind of this kind of uh, creepy because the uh, that's right the kids the camera obscura we we've kept on our desk because you know that's what we used to save. <gasps> Eh? Hello? <gasps> Holy f <sighs> I knew it was gonna happen! I knew it was gonna happen at some point! This entire time, this entire time, I've been like, don't look in the mirror, don't look in the mirror, they're gonna get us with the mirror, they're gonna get us with the mirror. I didn't, I guess I didn't expect them to pull both the feet under the, the curtain and the mirror so, like, Back to back, but oh, that that was good. That was like that was like a misdirection thing, right? You're like, okay, there's a ghost behind the curtain. I'm gonna go try to head and interact with the other curtain and pull it pull it back or something like that. And while my attention is pull uh, is directed on that, I let my guard down for the um, for the mirror. That was good. Also, I'm noticing as uh, that's interesting. As Ray moves here, as I'm moving Ray, um, it's affecting the uh, the light on the door. 
It's like you can see through, actually you can kind of see through the doorway to see Ray. Yeah, if you look, you can see the, the light. Hmm. Like, I don't know if that means, I don't think it's necessarily that the door is transparent, but I think it's probably something to do with, uh, maybe like there's a blooming effect. Yeah, that's, I think that's probably what it is. There's like a bloom effect. And as a result, that sort of radiating, like that, 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 that blur kind of effect is going, uh, is being seen through the door. It's not actually transparent, it's, uh, the post-processing, I think. Or whatever processing. Hello, kitty cat. We will observe the cat in a moment. I just needed to, to do a, a quick walk around. Ah, <sighs> they got me with the mirror, I'm so, I'm, I'm upset about that. Observing the cat. Cat has been observed. Oh, the ears were twitching. That's a nice touch! Okay, let's see if there's anything in here. Now, I'm, I'm, I'm kind of like, wondering, are they gonna hit us back to back with, uh... Spooky things? Or, or was that it? No, they hit us with, um... The phone first. And then they got us with the, the feet under the curtain. And then the mirror. So this has been totally so far there's been three things. Okay. Uh that doesn't that spot doesn't look any bigger, I don't think. Uh, anything in the developing uh, room? Four. Four things. We got points for that though. At least you at least we can get the points for uh for photographizing the uh those ghosts. Okay. They've gotta stop doing that. Like they are making me jump. It's <laughs> freaking It's like each and each one I'm I'm kind of expecting too, so I, I you know good good on you game. Good job. Might like Well, that's not gonna We're up to what five now? What's that? What's making that noise? centered around here. The window, maybe? Huh. This spot right here. This one spot has a lot of... It's got this weird... It's like the cross between, like, the fridge and, like, a, an on, like a gong, where it's got, like... The sustain is just on steady. Huh. Sorry, I, I'm, I'm, I'm like, I'm just. Is there anything in the couch? Kind of. Okay, I was, I was like, maybe we can interact with the couch and see if there's anything there. No. Phone? No. Okay. Weird. Um. Miku? Are you awake? I need some normalcy. Oh. Miku's actually sleeping. <laughs> oh no! This is not a good sign. Miku, wake up. I'm scared. Oh, is Miku in the dream? The next time we go to sleep, is are we gonna be playing as Miku? See, Miku seems like she's having another bad dream. Okay. 
All right, let's go check out uh, Yu's room and maybe the attic because we're we, we're we're just crazy. <laughs> yes. Why why are we why are we subject, subjecting ourselves to this? Uh, I don't know. It's it's fun. Um, something I still don't fully understand. It was it was a question I posed before about how you know we uh, we tend to like scary things for some strange reason. It's like we we hate being scared, but we love being scared. Anything up here? Oh, okay. Guess not. Alright, I guess we'll go back down. Okay. I don't know, I... If it were me, and these- th that man- that many things hit me all at once. Um, like a lot of the things I could probably, you know, if I was being like super skeptical and stuff, I could be like, well, let's see here. Um, the phone ringing thing, um, you know, prank callers, whatever. I, I suppose I could, I could wave that one away. It's still creepy, it's still weird, but I could, you know, I could hand wave that one. Um, the, all of the things I, uh, that sh we saw, I could hand wave away, but the TV turning on, on its own, to just static, that one there is a little bit more rooted right in the physical. Now you... <sighs> like, you could come up with an explanation for it. But at that point, it's like, are, are you... You have to look at the motivation for... I think, yeah, we'll save. You, you're, you're kind of uh, trying to figure out where your motivations are for the answer. Are you motivated by actually what happened, or are you motivated by a desire to comfort yourself? Uh, because I feel like that's... those are two very different things. Because I feel like a, a lot of skeptics, when they're when they're trying to, you know, figure out what happened, or when they're going over stuff, a lot of times they seem to have this mentality of, um... It's like a denialist thing. It's, uh... Th their motivation is to try and... It's like... Sometimes they jump through as many hoops trying to find a, an explanation like a quote-unquote rational explanation, uh, then... Oh. Okay, uh, it wasn't letting me sleep, I was like, what the heck? Is that up there? Because at first I was like, it looks. It reminded me a bit of Ray, but it's not quite. It's a little bit off. Save the two. Well, I was right. We are we are playing as Miku here. Okay, so I can't photograph the um, the ghost up there. Whoa. Hello. An image of something has been caught in, on the photo. Alright, so we'll have to get Ray to develop that film. Now this looks a lot like, um... I, I, I recognize this room somewhat. It's, it's a little different than the last time we saw it, back in the, uh, the first game. Um... Wasn't there like a pedestal in the middle? In front of a small shrine-like altar, there is mounted a pedestal with four indentations. Yeah, I I, I know, but there was the, there was a different one. It was uh, uh, for the limbs, right? There is ancient script engraved on the pedestal. Obtain the four purity stones. By the handmaiden's song, subdue the waking of the priestess in the chamber of needles. That's really cryptic. Okay, I, I'm I'm trying to, like this is a lot of like. Okay, I, I've got to work through this. Okay, obtain the four purity stones. All right, there's there's the objective. By the handmaid's song, subdue the waking 
of the priestess. Okay, so we're trying to prevent the waking of the priestess in the Chamber of Needles. There's no puncture. Wait. I'm, 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 I'm looking at like the, the capitalization of the words. I'm sorry, maybe I'm reading too much into this, but we've got like obtain. That makes sense at the beginning of the sentence. The four purity stones. Okay, those are, uh, we'll say that that's their official name. That's a, a proper name, therefore they're capitalized. But then we get, there's no, there's no period. And then we end up with by, then lowercase the, and then handmaiden song, which is also capitalized. So is it that they forgot the period after the stones? And then it's saying by the handmaiden song. So we have to use the handmaiden song to subdue the waking of the priestess in the chamber of needles. I think that's what it's trying to say. The hanging prison. Now that reminds me, there was another uh, note thing that came up last time that I I uh, I completely blanked on uh, reading. So let's uh, let's read some of these real quick. The hanging prison. In the room with the hanging prison was an altar where a human skin hung, covered in a tattoo. Oh! Before the altar was a pedestal with four round objects on it, inscribed with writing. Obtain the four purity stones. There you go, there's the comma. By the, by the handmaiden song, subdue the waking of the priestess in the chamber of needles. Is this connected to the hanging prison? Is there a shrine maiden inside there? Kind of. Uh, incidents. This is the one that we didn't read. The old book tells how a family named Moria, marked by the tattoo, killed the shrine carpenters after they had built the manor then ended by making themselves into taboo pillars or sacrificial pillars. All except one, the new master builder. Okay. Um, there are several candles on the inner wall where a tattooed human skin is enshrined. I've seen copies of body tattoos in books, but this looks like real skin. The skin is worn and in shreds, but the pattern of the tattoo is clear and unfaded. It looks like the limbs have been nailed to the wall with sharp stone spikes. Lovely. All right, so where does this is this is this going to be part of the mansion, or are we going to actually go outside for a little bit? Because yeah, this was because I'm expecting to see some stairs leading down. Because this this has got uh, some heavy vibes from like the first game. Nope, there are stairs, but they're leading up and into another place. Wait, I recognize this place. Yeah, the, the, this was one of those doors that we weren't able to enter due to uh, being... Again? I don't know if that was... The game glitching? Or like, or like the, the emulator glitching out? Or if, um... If that was intentional, but it was creepy. So if it was a glitch, it was a good glitch because I was like, oh, that is creepy. And if it was not a glitch, then that's still good. Good job. That's creepy. Uh, we still can't get into this room. This, um... Like, just, just move the curtain. I want the item in there. Okay, uh, where are we going? So we're, 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 we're in here. And we are looking for... Okay, that's the tattoo altar. So now we know what this room is. If we go directly this way, we can get back towards the uh, the tree where Ray was. But I su suspect we can't get the in there. Yeah, that's what I thought. So this, this is what I was talking about like last time, where it's like, okay, now the game is going to funnel us where we're supposed to go. So it's like, it's, it's, it's really open-ended, but at the same time, it's, uh, it's kind of linear in a way, in the way it's doling out the, uh, the content. Huh, which way do we go? Okay, I need, I need to think about this. Okay, there was, um, needles. Needles! Would that be the room with the, um, all the little dolls pinned to the walls? The, yeah, that, that could be it, right? That could be the chamber or, or whatever the heck of needles it was that was the place. 
<laughs> Very descriptive. Good job, me. Um, where where was that though? That was that. I want to say it was up here. That's the projection room. The storehouse. The confinement room. No, this is the um, the Fatal Frame Two area. Uh, it's, is it up a floor or down a floor? Wooden figure room. That's up high. No. Oh, there it is. Doll altar east. Yeah, that's exactly it. Okay, so once again, what they're doing is they... This is where we ultimately have to get. I'm pretty sure this is where we need to get to. The doll altar. But they've locked this door because they want us to have to walk all the way around to get to it. All right, so let's uh, let's go uh, down this way. And of course, you know we're gonna get attacked along the way. That's just that, that's how this that, that's how this works. And I can hear the sound of a lullaby coming from somewhere. Yeah, I, I was hearing that. I wasn't sure if that was just part of the the the, the background noise or. Alright, I suppose it's drawing attention to that, so we should probably check it out on our journey over towards the the, the the room with all the little dolls and the needles and stuff. Uh over here. No! 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 <laughs> Low in the wall is an open door leading under the floor. Pretty narrow, but maybe I can squeeze through. No, Miku, no! No! What are you doing? <gasps> I hear something down here. I found a part for the camera obscura. You have acquired special ability double. Wait, what does double do? Special ability double. Miku Hinasaki's special ability effect charges spirit power twice. When shooting, if you continue pressing the X button. You can charge your spear power in two stages. Shoot by releasing the X button. The greater the charge, the greater the damage you can inflict. Okay, so... The higher your level, the faster your second charge. Alright, I guess we'll have to try that. Oh, I don't do not like this. I don't like this. <gasps> There's like no room to navigate. <laughs> That's it closing behind us, isn't it? No, it's still open. Okay, wait, I, I hear... I hear something, like... Um, you, when you, when there's like a, a, a ghost nearby, but it's, it's like, or one of those like anomalies or something. Okay, I don't see it just yet. Oh, and you can move, still move the flashlight. Okay, that's a nice little touch. <gasps> Holy crap! Holy crap! <laughs> Uh, what's going on? Holy crap. Holy crap, come on! Oh, I keep hitting... I'm, I'm like trying to hit the flash or something. Okay. Just hit it! Holy crap. An image of something can be caught in the photo, or has been caught in the photo. <sighs> okay, that, that, 
<laughs> okay, I'm gonna give it to this one. Um, like I, I, I thoroughly enjoyed Fatal Frame 2. I think overall, maybe with I, whatever, that was. This is probably the scariest. That was. The, that, I think that was. The, that was the scariest part in any of the Fatal Frame games I've played. That part there was. That was masterful. The doll altar. Oh! It's one of the sealed off rooms that you can't get into uh, any other way. Oh, there's a ladder on the other side too. Okay! that The combination of that little girl ghost and that the, the very claustrophobic environment. Wow! That was good! Countless numbers of straw dolls dressed in red have been driven into the wall with wooden stakes. I'm sorry for- I kept hitting the, uh, the other, uh, shoulder button and I kept bringing up the notebook. Oh, uh, wow, that, um... It's like, you, you lose control of your, your, your hands for a second there, it's just like, I, I, I'm pushing things. I was trying to, like, uh, I, I still had it in my head Ray, right, with the flash. So I kept trying to hit- I, I was kept on trying to hit the button to cause the... You know, the flash to get the ghost off me, but uh, Miku does not have that, which I remember now, or I remembered, yeah, whatever. On the candlelit altar is a beautiful jewel about the size of my palm. All right, this is the first of the four we need to get. Purity stone L blue. The stone has been polished to a sheen. Inside, I can see a light blue glow. There is a book on the altar. A green diary. Amane led a man into the shrine. The head of the family is so angry. If the priestess wakes up, the commandment will be broken, and the rift will spread. Okay, Amane led a man into the shrine. The head of the fa family is so angry. If the priestess wakes up, the commandment will be broken, and the rift will spread. The family head teaches all the handmaidens so hard that they won't forget their duties. The head of the family ordered that Amane be impaled and that her brother be cast out of the manor. Because of the duties of the handmaidens and the duties of the Kuze Shrine, there was no other choice. Amane, I'm sorry. Okay, yeah, we, we did see one person... Yeah, that was one of the earlier cutscenes that we had seen. Um, that was someone being pinned down. You had a green diary to your file. Oh, freak. I feel like Miku right now. The, the, the hand over the heart, like, okay, calm down, heart. Calm down. It's okay. Calm down. <gasps> it's not okay. It's you again. There we go. I got a double charge now. Okay, that's cool. Just waiting for my chance to... I missed, didn't I? I missed with my double charge. Okay, I gotta, I gotta, I gotta get a full single charge off you first. Oh, okay, I see how it works. So you get the full sing, the, the, you have to get the full charge. Ah. Okay, so basically what happens is you hold the, the, the viewfinder on the ghost until you get a full charge on them. Oh, you're behind me, aren't you? Cra I don't know where you are. Oh, you're in the floor. What the heck? That's cheating. Okay, then once you get the full charge. Oh. Okay, I see. So your your secondary charge can only charge as much as uh, your primary charge is. Okay, I'm I'm learning the I'm learning this. Uh, Okay, so this is fully charged. Now we go do the secondary charge. Actually, I like that mechanic. I, I like that, that mechanic because it plays off the same uh, central mechanic of the, of the game where uh, you're waiting for that last possible chance. And so, like, you increase your chance of doing more damage the longer you wait. Um, it's like a, it's a risk reward system, right? You, the, you, you want to hold on to it, hold on to it, hold on to it. Um, 
Yeah, let's try going up these these uh, this ladder. Oh, I, I have a feeling I know where we're going to come out from here. Um... Hello? Where's the, uh... I know that sound. That sounds, uh... One of those, like, bluish, green, wobbly... glow thing anomalies. It's over here, right? Is it up? It's in this. It's over here. It's right, right there. I can't see it, but it's right there because uh, the the filament turns blue. It's it, it, the the blue is strongest when I'm facing like this direction here. But I don't see anything. So, all right. I guess we'll go up the ladder and we'll. Uh, see what uh, kind of crap. Oh, maybe that's what it was. It was. That's interesting. Okay, this is creepy. So interesting. It was my understanding that, um, like, each of the areas, like, each of the rooms were kind of segmented off, right? That, you know, they, they loaded it in as you went into the next room, but the fact that we were able to pick up this anomaly from underneath means that the game had some sense that this room was above the other room, right? An image of something has been caught on the photo. I don't want to interact with these things, but all right, it's... Oh, this is creepy. There is a light burning on the altar, where there is an offering on a wooden stand and two pairs of holly branches. Maybe they were used for some kind of ceremony? The ceremony room. Okay, let's, let's read that. Oh, look, I hit the right button this time. <laughs> In the room I looked into from the roof, Sax. Okay, sorry. In the room I looked into... From the roof, stacks shaped like... Holy crap, this sentence! Okay. In the room, I looked into from the roof, stacks shaped like people were hanging. <laughs> okay, I, I don't think that's a problem with me. I think that sentence is bad. <laughs> On the floor by an altar was a big red black blood stain. What purpose could this room serve? Some kind of ceremony, evidently. The doll altar. A room full of red dolls nailed to the walls with stakes. This is not the only one of these rooms inside the manor. No, that's right. What is the meaning behind these rooms, behind these dolls? So all those sealed uh, rooms all probably have one of those uh, jewels that we're looking for. Like the pure purity jewel gem things. That's, okay, that's, that's probably it. All right. Um, I can't interact with that. Uh, is there another way out from here? Is there another door? Yes, there is a door here. Okay, so far this session has taken me uh, in a very different direction than I was expecting. Yeah, I guess we're going out this door. Like, I was expecting, you know, oh, we're gonna backtrack again, but it's like, no, no. There's a sliding lock fastened on the door. Okay, you open the lock, it's gonna let us out somewhere that we haven't been able to get to before, right? <gasps> you gotta stop doing that! Darn it, game! Oh, it's you! Oh, there you are. Oh, you're off to my... Alright, let's switch, switch to some decent film. Oh, where are you? You're... Oh, you You're in me! Uh... 
Uh, there you are. Charge all the way up. Nope. Okay, I am fully charged. I am ready to let loose. There's something satisfying about that hum. There we go. Whew. That, that, that hum when everything's like fully charged, it, it's uh... It, it had like a bit of a um, like a Ghostbusters vibe, you know when they turn on the proton packs, it's like, oh yeah, you know stuff's about to go down. I'm, I'm okay, I'm good, I'm good. There, there's just something about that, that sound of like, you know something's fully charged and ready to- <gasps> Mirrors! Never mind! All sense of empowerment I may have had is gone. <laughs> Alright. We're just gonna walk past the mirror. Just walking past the mirror. It's just a normal, plain old mirror. Where are we? I wanna get my bearings here. Okay, we're here. The storehouse. Confinement room. Barred hallway. Okay, where where could we be? We we wanna get to another one of those uh those rooms, right? The sealed rooms? Alright, whatever, just... Now we're at a fork. No, we're not at a fork. There's only one way to go. So we'll continue going the way that we can go. Oh, yeah, this is, um... Uh... Oh, you stop doing that! Holy crap! Game! Darn it, I waited too long. See, that's what I mean, like, it's... Alright, come on, charge, 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 charge! Whew. This, uh, this knight, uh, is definitely a lot more, uh, combat heavy. Wait, where is it? There you are. Uh, wait, what is that? An image of something, uh, has been caught on the photo. What am I looking at? I can't even make out what I'm looking at. Oh, is it a face? Oh, it's a face! <gasps> oh, it's a fa oh, it's a creepy face! It's a sm- like a smiling- oh, ooh, yeah! If you haven't had a hard time seeing it, I'll- I don't know, I'll try to- I'll bump up the contrast, I'll enhance! I'll try to do that in editing. Maybe. If I remember, I probably won't remember. We'll see. Alright, oof. Alright, well, you know what? I'm actually gonna, you know, I'm gonna give my heart a break. I see Miku's like, <gasps> ooh. And you know what? I think I need to do the same. Um, I'm gonna have to end things here. It's actually, it's actually past my, uh, my, my allotted time anyways. So we're gonna have to end things here. Uh, if you liked, uh, if you like this, Video, and uh, you feel like this outing, uh, despite my panicky panicness, that 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 that's a term. It's it, it is. Believe me, check the dictionary. Um, it's there. <laughs> sure. Uh, give the video a thumbs up if you didn't like it. Well, leave it a thumbs down. Either way, let me know what you thought in the comment section. Next time, we're gonna. I guess we'll keep keep going. We're just gonna keep walking straight in the direction that we were, and um, see where that takes us. Yeah. Um, but until that time, I'd like to ask you all to game on. <laughs>